Vermont Wrestling fans, Green Mountain Wrestling continuing to bring the action. Barbecue and body slams rolling along. Peter DeLong with you on the call, and we've got another debut here in Green Mountain Wrestling. Nakoma Tala, the great warrior wolf of the Abenaki Nation, the indigenous people of the Northeast Woodlands in Canada and U.S., which of course is part of the Wabanaki Confederacy. Happy to have her here. She just dropped her new likeness reveal for uh, Virtual Basement's The Wrestling Code. It looks absolutely stunning. Make sure to check out The Wrestling Code to see Nakoma Tala's likeness. And while you're at it, head over to ProWrestlingTees.com slash Nakoma Tala to check out some really cool t-shirt designs. And she is going up against someone who has a bit of a reputation in the Northeast independent wrestling scene. And not a good one. Out of the way! Out of the way! Sarah Jane making her way down to the ring. Uh, look, I'll say this. All right. Sarah Jane, a complete jerk. I mean, it says in her name. She calls herself the bully, Sarah Jane. We've seen her all over the Northeast acting like a complete jerk to everybody. You can see, I mean, I don't even have to say anything. I'm going to stay silent. You just see what she's doing, and you, you, get, you, you pretty much get the picture. So I'm quite looking forward to this opportunity for Nicole Tala to absolutely decimate Sarah Jane. However, I'll give her her flowers. She's not going to make it easy. She is very good in that ring. Can't leave it at seven. Look. Ladies and gentlemen, this next matchup is sponsored by Pearl Street Pizza in Barrie, Vermont. Where you can get the best slice in Barrie. And now introducing our competitors. First, in this corner, she is sponsored by Ron News Kickboxing. And she represents the Abenaki Nation. She is the Great Warrior Wolf, Nakoma Tala. Very excited to see what she has to offer in Green Mountain Wrestling. And introducing her opponent in this corner from Los Angeles, California. She is the bully, Sarah Jane. Very excited to see her uh, carried out of this ring and into the back and hopefully never be seen in Green Mountain Wrestling again. But I digress. Sarah Bully Jade, I think, understands the severity of the situation. She understands she is outsized, outpowered. She's going to have to rely on her speed and agility. And outsmarting her competition, and that right there is going to do it. Taking her by surprise, and straight up pissing her off. Because as we all know, angry competitors make mistakes. But that's no mistake right there. And I don't know if you noticed, I think Sarah Jane was out for just a split second and got brought back to, to reality with that crushing blow across her chest piece. Nakoma Tala absolutely threatening Sarah Jane there. But still trying to wipe the whiskey out of her eyes. Now call her double tie Quickly overpowering Sarah Jane. And grabbing the hair, pulling her into position, and headbutting her. But Nakoma Top, the great warrior wolf, pulling her back into the corner and attempting to cave in the chest cavity of the bully Sarah Jane. Are off the ropes. Sarah Jane ducks the clothesline, ducks the back elbow as well. Drop kick finds a mark. Nakoma Tala down. But Sarah Jade not capitalizing. Instead, choosing to, uh, to yammer on with the crowd. Now asserting herself, coming off the ropes. Tiger fake kick. Hits the bullseye on Nakoma Tala. And as 
much as I hate to admit it, Sarah Jane looking very good in there right now. Wrenching her hair around. Not even trying to stand her up. Just pulling her in different directions, keeping her off her, her balance. And now just a blatant choke with the boot across the throat in the corner. Forearm right across the sternum. And we've seen these kind of tactics before from Sarah Jade. So this is no surprise to anyone. But I think Nicole Atala is starting to get a little angry. She's starting to get fed up with the disrespect. Grabbing her by the ear. Going over for a quick snap there by the hair. Very smart. I was just about to say, I don't think Nicole Atala is going to have much of a problem Getting back up to a standing pace with Sarah Jade's smaller frame on her. And knowing that, reached back, fell back, wrapped the legs in an attempt to ground her. But Nakomatala still being able to get back up to a standing pace and make Sarah Jade relinquish the hold. Crashing into the corner. Now, Nakomatala coming across with a head of speed. Splash in the corner. Sarah Jade. Needing the assistance of the ropes is just to stay up on her feet. Another huge splash in the corner. Looking for a third. Sarah Jane on a knee. This could be dangerous for the positioning. Oh! And it was indeed, but not for the woman I thought it was going to be. And just kicked her head to the side of that steel post. Shoulder first into the steel post, and then when trying to recuperate, kicked right to the side. X Factor right in the middle. Sarah Jane goes for the cover. Huge win for the bullet. You know, I think this is what pisses me off the most about Sarah Jane. About how even though she's a complete jerk, and I think doesn't need to, to be doing any of that stuff that she does. She still is able to come out on top and get the victory, regardless of her poor disposition on this business. And no one remembers, the history books don't remember how the wins came, they just remember that they did. And Sarah Jade gets the victory here in Green Mountain Wrestling. Thanks so much to Nicole Batala for coming to Green Mountain Wrestling. Hopefully this isn't the last we've Sarah, seen of her. Sarah, that was quite she an impressive debut talent. here in Green Mountain Wrestling. Is there anything you would like to tell the people? Uh, Come on, leave Clark Dial Back up and mess his hair up. There is a couple words I would love to say to you people. Having a little hard time hearing what she has to say due to the chorus of boos. Figurative booze, you know what I mean. There's the literal booze. My name is Sarah Bully Jane. I am from Los Angeles, California. Well, everything's better in LA. Yeah. I am so proud to not be a part of this hick village. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Absolutely no. You see, you see this picture of me? That's me, all right? And if you people had service, you would be able to look me up. But it is kind of hard to get bars here. But you don't have any service. I just faced that grizzly bear, and I am going to face L next, or any female that wants to get in this ring with me. I'm done. Best part of the uh, the interview. Well done, Clark Diane. Folks, don't go anywhere. Barbecue and Body Slam continues. The main event is coming up. Don't go anywhere.